This burglary comes as a lot of people are expected to hit the trails this weekend and a hit as the Pierce County Explorer Search and Rescue Team is gearing up for Memorial Day weekend and the start of its busy season. This compartment and this are the two kind of most devastating pieces. So they destroyed this. Um, we can't actually even use this anymore. Monday morning, Chase Woolley, training director for Pierce County Explorer Search and Rescue, came to find the damage thieves left behind. So they just jimmied this. And then this used to be completely full of equipment. Wooly says sometime over the weekend, someone broke the locks and stole cords, cables, and rescue ropes from their mobile operations vehicles. We found bolt cutters just laying on the ground. Next Whoever is responsible cut through this fence to get in. They damaged both of these, both these locks to get into the cab of this one, and they also tried to pry the door. Um, so it's no longer waterproof. Wooly says they also siphoned gas out of their transport van. He says luckily they weren't able to get major equipment like radios and GPS, but it's still a setback. I mean, the biggest hit I think would be the generator cables, the stuff that actually powers the rig. Uh, we can't use um, the computer, the TV, the tracking equipment, anything like that without our generators running. The team is volunteer led and 100% reliant on donations. Money for repairs will have to come from funds set aside to buy new radios and rigs. It's unfortunate. Um, it's a sad reality of uh, the times we're in right now. The search and rescue team has been on thousands of missions since it started in 1958. And despite the burglary, are able to respond to calls as more people are expected to hit the outdoors with upcoming warm weather. People will still go, they'll go up into the mountains where there's still snow on the ground. Um, and they won't be prepared for that. They'll be in shorts, t-shirts, and running shoes, and then encounter knee-deep snow. Whoever's responsible has not been caught yet, and it's an estimated $1,000 worth of damage. We'll put ways you can help and volunteer on our website, kink5.com. In Pierce County, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.